Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to group dates in a pivot table in Excel. Here in this data I have a date in column 1, store numbers in column 2, region in column 3 and the sales value in column 4. To insert a pivot table using this data click anywhere in this data set, go to the insert tab and click on pivot table icon. In the create pivot table dialog box I want to insert this in a new worksheet so I would simply click on OK and this inserts a new worksheet along with the pivot table. On the right I have pivot table fields pane where I have these four options. These refer to the four columns in the data source. I would drag date here in rows area and sales in the values area and as soon as I do this the pivot table gets updated with these selections so I have dates here as row labels and the sum of sales value here. The problem with this is that I have a huge data set with 320 rows of dates so I would want to group these dates so that I can do a more meaningful analysis. So let's first see how to group these by years. I would go select any cell here in this column, go to the analyze tab and select group selection. In the grouping dialog box I would select years and you can see I can make multiple selections here and these are the options by which I can group this data. I would select years and I would deselect months and now when I click OK I have uh, the summary for 2014 along with the sales value here and 2015. Now this may make sense to have this yearly summary if you have more years let's say 10 years of data or 20 years of data but in this case I only have the data for these two years so it makes sense to drill down and have quarterly data or monthly data. So let me ungroup this and again click on group selection and in this case let me do it by quarters so I would select quarters and deselect months and now when I click OK it summarizes the data by quarter so I have four quarters along with the sales values. The problem with this is that in my original data set I have two years 2014 and 15 and here it has combined those into one quarter so it has combined the quarter one of 2014 and 15 and this is showing me the combined value so this may not make a lot of sense if you have uh, yearly data as well as the quarterly data it makes sense to split it into the years as well so to do that I would go back to group selection and along with quarters I would also select years and now when I hit OK I have 2014 along with the four quarters and similarly I have 2015 along with the four quarters and here are the values for each quarter now when you do this you would notice something interesting here in the pivot table fields pane in this area earlier I had only four options but now I have this additional fifth option which is years. Now your original data set does not change it remains the same this option has only been added just to make this easier. What you can do is you can also drag this and put it anywhere you want. So in this case it has already been added in the rows area. I can drag this and put it in the columns area and when I do this now I have 2014 here and 2015 here with the four quarters here. So it becomes easier for me to analyze this data I would instantly know that in quarter one of 2014 the sales were higher as compared to 2015 where it declined. Similarly, you can do the analysis by months as well. So if I have to do it by months instead of quarters, I would ungroup this data, go to group selection and select months as well as years. And now when I hit OK, I again have the 2014 data with the 12 months and 2015 data with the 12 months. I can drag years here and put it in column and now I can analyze monthly data and I can see the change year on year. If you're working with the retail store data or website traffic data then you may also want to analyze it on a weekly basis. So to do that let me again go back to group selection and in this case I would deselect all the options and only select days here and when you select days 
you would see that number of days option becomes available earlier it is not if you select any other option it would be unavailable but when you select days and only days then it becomes available and now I can change this to 7 because I'm looking for a weekly grouping and now when I click OK it would instantly give me this group which is 4th January 2014 to 10th January 2014 and this is the sales value similarly for 11th to 17th this is the sales value so this has been grouped in a weekly basis but the problem here is that 4th January 2014 is a Saturday and if I follow this uh, grouping then the groups are actually from Saturday to Friday and you may want to analyze it from Monday to Sunday or any other weekday so to change this grouping go back to group selection and here you would have to change the starting at date so in this case it's 4th January 2014 I would make this 30th December 2013 so you can either make it 30th December or 6th January 2014 both of which are a Monday uh, and now when I click OK you'd see that the grouping has changed from 4th January to 30th December 2013 to 5th January and then I have 6th January to 12th January so in this case I would know that my week starts on a Monday and ends on a Sunday now if you have a different kind of data let's say here I have call center data where it is recorded along with the minutes and seconds at what time the call was received by which agent what was the department was the call resolved or not if you have such data you may want to analyze this on an hourly basis as well if you are let's say a call center manager then you may want to know what is the time when the resolved call number is less and what is the time when uh, it's really high so to do that again let's insert a pivot table I would click OK it inserts sheet 2 and here I have these four options I would put date here in rows and I would put resolved here in values so you can see it shows me this this option that at this point of time one call was resolved in this two calls were resolved now to group this by R I would go back to group selection and here I would simply select R's and now when I hit OK you would see this now what 09 represents is 9 a.m. in the morning and from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. 393 calls got resolved from 10 to 11 400 calls got resolved and you can see that the call center is functional from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. so we have all these calls and you can see for 6 p.m. the time when the call center closes only 11 calls get resolved maybe the calls that are received at the end of uh, the closing so this is how you can group this by hours in a similar fashion you can also group this by minutes or by seconds if you have that kind of data so this is how you can group dates in a pivot table in Excel that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day